Hello, welcome to the video on solving one-step equations. This will be a lesson on this topic, and let's take a look at our objectives here. So the first thing I want to do is define a one-step equation, and then I'm going to talk about something called inverse operations, and then we're going to use these inverse operations to actually solve one-step equations. Okay, so what is a one-step equation? Well, let me go ahead and actually write an example of one here. I have x plus 1 equals 3. Okay, so this is an example of a one-step equation. And let's just think about what this actually means. So x, remember in, in algebra is a variable, represents a number. So really we're talking about some number plus 1 is 3. So what's that number? Okay. Well, obviously that number has to be 2 because 2 plus 1 is 3. So therefore x must be equal to 2. So we just solved this one-step equation. Now, as the name implies, to actually solve these one-step equations is simply going to require us to take one step. So I got this picture of this uh, stairs here. And in algebra, the most basic type of equations are these one-step equations. So that's what we're going to learn. Okay, We're first going to learn how to solve one-step equations. And then in future lessons, we're going to talk about solving two-step equations. And then once you know how to solve these two basic type of equations, then you can really kind of solve anything. We are actually going to start learning the process and techniques to solve multi-step equations. But everything starts here with one-step equations. Okay? And the key to solving any equation, and of course one-step equations, is learning something called inverse operations, knowing what this is. So I'm going to introduce the basic concept of inverse operations to you. But we're really going to see how they work when we, we actually start solving these one-step equations. All right, so what's an inverse operation? Well, let's say I have this number 6. Okay, I'm just kind of making up a number here. So I have this number 6, and I go, you know what? I'm going to add 2 to it. I'm going to perform an operation, addition operation. So I'm going to add 2 to my 6. And I say, you know what? I don't like that. 6 plus 2, I don't want to do that. So how can I undo this operation. Okay, I just added 2 to my 6. If I want to kind of undo what I did, I can simply subtract that 2 away. Okay, and I'm left with my 6. Okay, so 6 plus 2 minus 2 gets me back to 6. So this undoing of something, okay, is an inverse. So when I added 2 to undo uh, that addition, I use subtraction. So an inverse operation it's an undoing operation. So for addition, it's going to be subtraction. Let's take a look at another example. Let's say I have 5, okay, and I say, you know what, I'm going to subtract.